Burkhart Miltak here. Today, I'm gonna go over my opinion of the benefits of BDU over ACU. I have my little notes here to keep me on track. In the background here, I have ATAX FG BDU shirt by proper, and the same by proper, but an ACU. Now, benefit one, more cost effective. Right now on their website, an ATAX FG BDU shirt, when it's not on sale, it's going for $31.48. Sadly, FG has been retired. Well, ATAX, the uh, legacy patterns, I guess they call them, which is the AU and the FG, they're being retired for the X line patterns of the same color, you know, FGX, AUX, sadly. So they're on sale right now. But before sale, you know, 3148 on the website for that one. BDU cut. ACU cut. $59.99 if it wasn't on sale. Second, same material. Both of these are made out of the same material. Just the difference is this one's cut ACU, that one's BDU cut. So, you know, durability shouldn't be an issue. Same material, 6535, Polyco. That's my son. My favorite thing about the BDU is there's no big swatch of Velcro on the, on the shoulders, on the arms. You don't have to worry about a little <laughs> or any of that or it getting dirty and not working or just wearing out and then, you know, you got flaps flapping like this, you know? Now the service record from my research for the BDU, they started getting phased in in 81 and started getting phased out in 05. So, you know, the cut has been proven. Yeah, you got chest pockets and waist pockets on it and now everyone's have the the vests and all that now, you know. But if you can run with a Alice belt web gear and keep everything on your waist or whatever, you know. I mean, most, I, I've never put, put anything in the pockets, really. I use this stuff for hiking and camping and I really don't carry things in them. Uh, my BDU pants do fine for that. The markets are saturated with BDU, used and new BDU float everywhere. You can find them in Army Navy stores. You can find them online everywhere. And it's in ACU isn't as prevalent. Prevalent around in my Army and Navy stores, you know, especially in this this pattern, one of my favorites. Um, let's see. In most cases, you can find them in more current patterns, you know, not just the M81 or the DCU uh, tricolor desert or or the coffee, or no, not the coffee stain, but the chocolate chip six color, you know. Uh, I, you can pretty much find them in more current patterns. Uh, now, I will say that I haven't been able to find multicam in the BDU cut. I found one, but it was 100% cotton, and I don't really go towards that type of blend And whenever I'm out hiking or anything, you know. Cotton is rotten and not good when it's wet or any of that. And I just find, you know, it's just not as durable. Let's see. No, no. Well, one thing I do like about the ACU, though, is the, is the zipper. That zipper, you know, is quick up, down. You know, you can take it off, put it back on quickly instead of having to fun, you know, fumble with buttons or whatnot or worry about... Me, I'm always pulling buttons off. I guess I'm just too tight or whatever. Whenever I'm fastening them, I put too much pressure. But I usually end up every now and again popping a button. But then you ain't got to worry about sewing it back on. But, you know, you bust a zipper on that, you you pretty much need to get a new ACU top. So And that looks about it. Let's see if I can think of anything else. Cover the Velcro. No, oh, that, that's it. Uh, that's, that's what I think about the benefits of a BDU over ACU. I mean, they're cost effective. I mean, 
I guess most people are going to be running this stuff in the airsoft or whatever. I don't really see people getting into firefights who are not in the military, you know, you, you, especially FG, you're not going to get this stuff in the mil military or whatever. But most people buying this stuff like me, you know, they either use it for outdoor gear or airsoft. I mean, you can get the top and bottom of that for the same price as just getting the top of that. Just my two bits on the subject. Oh, signing off.